Welcome back, basement dwellers. We're playing Super Mario RPG. That's right, Ted. We just beat Punchinello. We just beat Punchinello, and we got a star, and it almost fell on Malo, but it didn't. Dinah, uh, uh, won't budge. Is she holding an ice cream cone? I hope so. Either that or a, she's Help painting me here. Give pink. me this minecart a push. Oh, cool. Let's push oh, the minecart. Okay. Uh, this is a cutscene I'm not controlling. Care to read the warning? Of course! Yes. Minecart Mine guidelines. guidelines. Press, press A or Y to break. Press B to jump. jump. Uh, a Get or mushrooms y. and press X. I to wonder accelerate. if the buttons are different on this controller. Mobile safety board. Okay, well, we'll do our best. This is gonna be fun. Okay, so. Oh, man. This part of the game did not age as gracefully, I don't think, but it does show off the mode 7. Oh. Mode 7 graphics. Okay, there's jump. This is so cool! Yeah, so you have to break to take these uh, or you fall corners off. well, yeah. Get that mushroom. Why yep. do you want to accelerate? Are there jumps that you need to be able to, like, make? Um, it, depending on the time I think you do it in, you get a uh, um, bonus, maybe. So accelerate here. It's a straightaway. I was trying to find the- oh, I was trying to find the right button. Whoa. There it is. That's oh, no! Oh! <laughs> That's such a satisfying sound when you get a mushroom. Pee -wee! Pee -wee! Here it is. Yeah, they climb uh, too in elevation, so you see it, and then it like it just keeps going up. So the longer it takes you to get to it, the later. Oh, it doesn't bob up and down; it just jump. bobs up, and that's it. Oh boy, you have to jump that one. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yep. Is that the end of the? Uh, you did it. So, well, no, I think it goes into a side-scrolling portion. Oh! And then, so here's where you want your mushrooms. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. This is so Donkey Kong. Yes, it is. Oh, why did I just break? DK Country. Oh man, this is hard to like comprehend. <laughs> well, my yeah, you can't really like see anything. It's hurting my brain. Right. Okay, 11438. That's how you know you're moving. It. No, so now it's the mode seven again. Oh, okay. Okay. So sort of see how that works. Boy, that was close. Whoa. Oh, oh, I was I breaking right and off everything. the track. Okay, this is kind of fun. Yeah, this is sort of nifty. Like, a, oh, I, although I can, uh, I was trying to hit jump. I can remember as a kid, like being like, oh, okay, I'm ready to play the game again. <laughs> like it took a little too long, you know. Ah, oh, I never know when it's like the right time to use a mushroom. <laughs> well, yeah, you can't see far enough ahead, so you're just guessing. You turn, you turn. Oh, I forgot to jump. You turn, jump. That was a good time to use it. That was a very good time. Yes, indeed. I'm gonna go ahead and say it was a very good time. So I told Peter this off stage, off camera. Off stage. Off stage. Off camera, uh, just a minute ago, but I'll tell a cool story here. So, uh, my wife never really picked up Shovel Knight. I love Shovel Knight. My kids What's love Shovel Knight. What's Shovel Knight, Ted? Shovel Knight is an incredibly awesome game for multiple platforms. Yacht Club uh, Games. By YachtClubGames.com. Yacht Check them out if you haven't. If you haven't heard of Shovel Knight, get out from under your rock and go check it out right oh, now. No. It game rules, it okay? Me. Yes, so good. The music uh, turns we my have brain our, We have out. actually played Shovel Knight a couple times on this channel. We played uh, Plague Knight, uh, a Plague of Shadows. Yep. Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows. And Shovel Knight Co-op. Like and we played Co-op Shovel Knight. I you think the only thing we didn't play out. was just regular Shovel Knight. <laughs> yeah, we haven't played just one player Shovel Knight yet. Uh, I don't know if we will. But, uh... Nah. Interestingly, though, they oh, are also. Sunset. Hey, they just announced that uh, the Specter Knight campaign is going to be coming out in spring of 2017, uh, and you better believe, Peter, that we are going to be playing that mm -hmm. on this channel, like as soon as that comes out. Unless it has some sort of terrible conflict with uh, what all those kids are doing. Sure, wish they'd hurry home with uh, the Nintendo NX and or uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild because it's going to be hard to prioritize all those things simultaneously. That's true, but I don't think that they would do a release the same time unless it's like a it ends up package being like deal. A, <laughs> but you know, like they're gonna they're gonna release that for all of the platforms that Shovel Knight is on. Because, Still got to use the door just like everyone else. No, we don't. Ha! <laughs> Bam! Right through the ceiling. Dino, we're home. So, um, anyway, my wife doesn't really, like, never really played Shovel Knight. Yeah. My kids played it a lot, but she kind of used it as an excuse to not have to always help them with the game. Because they're kind of right. young. I got a six-year-old and a four-year-old, and I think the six-year-old was playing Shovel Knight when he was four. So yeah. Kids ask for help with games a lot, and if you're good at them, then you're uh, they're always leaning on you as a crutch. And but if you're not, like Lisa wasn't yeah. yet, 
Yeah, so like cool. they'd come up and ask her for help and she'd be like, I don't know how to play Shovel Knight. So she didn't really know how to play Shovel Knight, she never tried it. Well this week, I was I was just hanging out with my wife Lisa and I was like, hey, you should maybe try Shovel Knight, I think you might like it. Because she likes side-scrolling old games, you know? She likes DuckTales for the NES, she likes Mario 3. And I was like, it's basically like if you took those two games and put them together yeah. and combined it with Mega Man. If like, you like those games, you're gonna like Shovel Knight. Yeah. And so she's like, oh, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Well, today, just a few days later, she's like, hey, Ted, thank you so much for showing me Shovel Knight. And I was like, oh, really? She's like, yeah, I really, really like it. And I'm like, where are you at? And she's like three quarters of through the game already. <laughs> <clears throat> she's like, yeah, I just beat Tinker Knight. Oh, isn't it so great when you love a game so much that you just like, like marathon it and you're, you get 60% plus the way through mm -hmm. the game in the first 36 hours you know about it? Yeah. So what's going on here? These well, shy guys there's are a character booster who really likes beetles. He can't catch his own. So these Sniffits, who uh, found their way into the Mario franchise via Mario 2 or Super Mario <laughs> USA. Or Doki Doki Panic. Oh, Doki Doki Panic. Yeah, good job, Miyamoto. So uh, they want Mario to give back the beetle. The beetle just likes Mario. He's not keeping it from him. So I have a question. Yes. I well, think I, feel like I heard a rumor. <clears throat> that, per um, 10 store. Would you like a shiny stone? Yes. yes, please. It's expensive. Oh, we gotta bring fireworks, that's right. That shiny stone, I'm sure, is something actually good. Yeah. Because she's sort of hidden. Oh, don't worry, basement dwellers. If you know what the shiny stone is for, we're definitely getting the shiny stone and using it what it's for. You like fireworks? All I'm right. working on my very own invention right now. I guess sparkles down, I ain't giving up. You want one for 500 coins? Wow. Um, yeah, it's yes. expensive, but it's an important... More coins ...important than optional part of the game. Right, we're at 900 boing, boing. coins. I like okay. how you obligatorily jumped on those beds. Is that a word? Obligatorily? I hope it is. It is now. It is now. It's, it's a, a word in the basement. Yep. Uh, buy the uh, basement version of America's Webster's Dictionary, basement edition, <laughs> including words such as obligatorily and, uh... And, um, wait, hold on. What's another word? What's another word that we... What? B-W-U-T-T? -T? Oh, yes. Also, That means um, but. Also, it'll include the word... Oh, that's my time. Uh... Serpoofluous. Yeah, sir, 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 poofluous. Sir, sir, poof, sir poofluous. <laughs> Third yoke. Oh my gosh. Peter, we gotta play more Oregon Trail. Yeah. That was fun. But that we got too fun. many games going on right now. I know. We can't we can't just we just can't just do just add more games in like that. Well sure we can. We oh. do it all the time. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it tonight. Let's play some Oregon Trail. <laughs> what if we just cut this episode off halfway All of a sudden, through. it's playing, hey, we're playing Oregon Trail. <laughs> yeah. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back to Oregon Trail in the middle of Mario. All right, it's time for some booster pass. Now, we're going to see some harder enemies. This Did you go and turn the fireworks in for a thing? Good place to grab. Oh, uh, we can't yet, I don't think. Oh, okay. Whoa. Whoa. You're fighting a cabbage? Yeah, this one's alive. What? Well, I do they're like all that alive. the game did this. I know, but this one's, like, fightable. Most of them are. Is there just something like inside? Is this a piranha plant hiding inside? Is this what a piranha plant looks like when it's not fully unfurled to soak up the sun's rays? Oh, zero! Oh, there he is! Oh my goodness! It's, it looked like a weird frog piranha plant. Heal thyself, dude. Oh, gross! Yeah, it's probably what was that. It's probably like it's plant an artichoker. Sap. It's an artichoker, dude. Plant sap is the worst. Oh, it gets on you and it's all sticky and like you can't get out of your clothes. Oh, that didn't work last time. We'll try this. Um, Man. That's not going to do much, but... There is a certain kind of sap, I will say, that is quite pleasant. Uh, that of a maple tree? Yes. yes. Have you ever just drank it straight? Uh, it's pretty watered down on its own. Yeah, right? it's not very I sweet. I mean, what we right drink... Uh, the better way to say that is what we drink is very concentrated. Yes. Yay, we like did it. super evaporated and all that's left basically is the sugars and the... And that's it. Hey, I feel like you started a sentence earlier, and then, and I, then I had a thing to say. Do you remember? Um, do, 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 nope. Do, 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 Don't remember. Do, do, do. Dang. Let's fight this guy. Well, it had can. to do with maybe... No, I told the whole Shovel Knight thing. Yeah. Oh, maybe that was it. And I just didn't hmm. know if that was over. Yeah, I think I was kind of done with that. Okay. I was, I was going to say, like, I'm really excited for the new campaign that's coming out for it in 2017, but I mean, we'll see there when we get there. Oh, yeah. Oh, which which we're talking is about, that? We're talking about playing a Oregon Trail, and yeah, I got off on some weird, crazy tangent. Okay, oh, well, well, we get... Oh, wow, that did zero to all of them. The, these guys are getting... We gotta Look be careful here. Look impervious to magic and lightning or something that's going on. 
Well, that plant certainly is. I bet Mario. Oh, and they're fire using attack. lightning too. So I bet Mario's attack it. would like totally do in that artichoker. Yeah, the like fire. a jump attack. Well, we got a lot. Let's just the Geno Beam. I don't know. I'm tempted to run away, but just fight him. Um, did we save? It. Did we save on camera? Basement dwellers, comment below. Did we do that? We did not. Bam! I thought no, we did. Moleville. Oh, yeah, you're right. In the house. Oh well. So basement dwellers, I've got a question for you. How? And I would like you to comment below if you are so able. Here's the question. When you listen to music, do you listen to music on YouTube? Do you listen to music on CDs? Do you listen to music on cassette tapes? <laughs> Do you listen to music on eight-track players? Like, tell tell us the main outlet you listen to music on. That's what I'm very curious about. Hill Dragon probably listens to records. You think so? I don't know. I mean, because I'm, I'm actually really interested because it says a lot about a person. What they use as their main source. Oh man, what music to listen to? Well, what so. does it say about me? I'm way behind the times. I listen to CDs. I have a discman at work <laughs> plugged in so I can listen to CDs because my work laptop doesn't have a disk drive. So you have like a portable discman? Yeah. It's got skip protection on it? Oh yeah, and bass boost. Oh wow, um, and bass boost. And like the high tech thing I do is Amazon. I buy stuff, MP3s via Amazon, and then I just mm -hmm. have them in that like remote library as well as you can download it to whatever device i am such a cheapo like i do whatever is free so i listen to it on youtube i listen to it on spotify mm, yep uh, i listen to pandora a lot i like i like not choosing but i also like choosing oh man look at this carrot guy but what i hate doing what i absolutely hate doing is listening to the radio oh yeah the uh, radio is the worst i'm like you do not, no, you do not tell me what I am listening to. I will choose at least by genre type. And every once in a while, it's a really good song with like lots of feels and like at the end, it's just like, mmm, and you want, you want the song to decay naturally, but they just bust into whatever promo or the DJ starts talking. Yeah, they're like, like, they cut off the last half measure of the song. I am a lost boy from Nepal. <laughs> Yo, welcome to KBBBPDL, <laughs> the now station. <laughs> now. Play music from now. <laughs> and then they play like a conglomeration of like 15 songs. I don't need no more. I am a lost boy from Neverland. Shake it off. Shake it off. <laughs> Free tickets for Monster Jam. No. Jam, my jam, 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 Saturday. Monster Jam. They're not advertising. They're not advertising Monster Jam on whatever Ooh. channel is playing Taylor Swift and Saya. I picked up a flower. <laughs> uh, guys, next time in the basement, uh, hear more of Ted's old guy angry opinions about the radio and other such things. <laughs> oh, on my day, we didn't listen to the radio. We listened to MP3s. And we will continue <laughs> along down a Booster Path and see what we see. Oh, look! We reached the end of Booster Pass. So uh, stay tuned for next time. We'll go into Booster Tower in a few days. Uh, tomorrow we'll play some more um, of else. a different game. Yeah, yeah we do that. We're always uh, publishing videos of interesting gameplay and us talking about whatever comes off the top of our brains. Thank you so much for being a Basement Dwellers. We love that you're down here dwelling with us and uh until next time guys we think that you are more voluminous than what happens to my wife's hair when she uses fancy fancy shampoos if you don't know it gets really voluminous in the basement <laughs>